Alrighty, welcome back to two Final Fantasy VII's one controller, no items challenge. My controller still has awful stick drift, as you can tell. Cloud is 360, no scoping the world right now. Um, so, last week... We did a little bit more grinding, and then we went ahead and tried Emerald again, and we almost succeeded, but right side was um, falling a bit short. So, what we'd like to do today, I don't want to go straight cheese yet, because I do have a cheese strategy that would probably work, but I don't want to go towards the cheese strategy yet. I want to try to do this a bit more legit first. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grind out Sadness. Sounds like a self-help book. Grind out sadness. Um, and that is going to allow us to take a bit more punishment during the eye phase, which is what the big problem was last time. We were taking way too much punishment during the eye phase, and we weren't able to get our heals off fast enough. So we're going to see if we can get sadness on everyone. And then we're going to give this another shot. And if that doesn't work, then we're just going to have to go full cheese. But we're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to see what happens. Final Fantasy Therapy. That is not elephants. We need elephant. Elephant the elephant. Yeah, well, sadness is borderline broken, so I don't know. I almost feel like sadness was not what they were intending. Or something. It's really strange. Um, but yeah, sadness is, is stupidly powerful. So, Sadness is broken because it gives you 30% damage reduction. Is it 30? I think it's 30. Um, on everything. And it's supposed to be a negative effect because it makes your limit breaks build up slower. But it is way, way, way too powerful to be a negative effect. Mostly because there really isn't much anything in this game that lowers all damage value by any percent. Most things give you damage protection against, like, physical attacks or magical attacks. Like, sitting in the back row gives you damage reduction from attacks that aren't attack. Um, so, like, enemies' uh, regular attacks and stuff will lower. Um... There's Elephon. But... Um... Sadness... Oh, counterattack, big rip. Sadness lowers all damage. Period. And you can enter a fight with Sadness as well. It's not like Barrier, where... You have to cast it in the fight, and then it goes away, and you have to keep recasting it. You can just enter the fight with Sadness, have 30% damage reduction against all things, always. And the only thing that's negative about it is that you get limit slower. So it's really, really good. And a lot of high-level Final Fantasy VII stuff that we've done in the past has all involved Sadness because of just how powerful it is. It's allowed us to do a lot of crazy things. I would probably say that Cloud Solo Necrosis wouldn't have been possible without Sadness. Um, that was part of the reason why we were able to get through a huge section of the game without taking a lot of damage. Need to get rid of... Magic counter. Counter attack. 
counter. Counter attack. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a bit weird on how it actually does it, but you get the general gist at least. Um and I would say it gets to borderline ridiculous once you get the Zydric. Because the Zydric also has a flat 50% reduction on all elemental. Um but because this game is weird, most physical attacks are also elemental. Um, because elemental includes stuff like shoot and, uh, hit, which are technically elements but are actually physical attacks. So it just reduces almost everything by 50%. Didn't you have a... I guess not. So yeah, part of the reason why you're able to take really minuscule damage um, from stuff like Emerald Weapon, who usually will just obliterate you, is because of all that stuff compounded on top of each other. One of my favorite things that I've done in the past, we did a uh, let's see how little damage we can make Emerald Weapon do. So we had like a level 99 cloud with max stats with barrier, sadness, back row, uh, four hero drinks. I think that's it. Shield doesn't affect it, so he didn't have shield. Um, I think he took like four damage from Emerald Shoot, which I think is the strongest attack in the game, I'm not sure. Emerald Flick. Uh, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Tough Ring does nothing if you already have max stats. The items only get you up to the max. They don't exceed that. The only thing that exceeds the max are Hero Drinks, which is why they're broken. What's up, pet friend? Uh, try refreshing gags. Sometimes Twitch can be weird. Well, Air Tam Storm is just a formula. It does damage based on how much materia you have equipped. But I think um, Emerald Shoot is the strongest attack that's just a straight damage attack. Well, I got Barret with Sadness. It's really annoying that I can't throw an ether on this elephant. It's gonna eventually run out of MP. Cloud, stop dodging. Okay, I got Yuffie and Barret. Just gotta get Cloud. Left side is, uh, not going well. You're welcome, Gags. Yeah, so for those of you that weren't here earlier, uh, when we talked about it, one of the biggest finds in Final Fantasy VII speedrunning history was found yesterday. I made a video about it. It's a new setup for Cosmo Canyon Skip, and it does a lot of things, but the biggest thing it does is makes the run a lot more accessible for everyone. 
because before that, um, the old Cosmo Canyon skip on PS1 was horrendous, and only like two people have ever really done it in runs. Um, it took like more than 12 frame perfect positions. Uh, the Chocobo glitch, as well as an in-game time. And the in-game time is the worst part, because it basically, uh, pigeonholed the whole run into a specific in-game time. And if you didn't hit that in-game time, you had to reset, and a lot of lo uh, lower tier players couldn't even get close to that time, so it was like, it basically just ruined their run off the bat. And the trick was so hard that no one wanted to do it in runs when the runs are that long, because the PS1 runs are eight hours long. So it's just an awful, awful trick that pretty much made the Final Fantasy VII speedrun terrible. Um, but, a new setup was found yesterday that is easier, faster, makes the route better, and doesn't take an IGT. So now the run is way more accessible for people to do. It's also a huge time save. It's like a two or three minute time save. Um, and yeah, it's big, big, big news. So, and it's just crazy to me that stuff like this is still being found. Seems like every year we say like, this is the last big thing that's gonna be found and then we find more. It's just crazy. Uh, Kuma was the one to originally see, like, figure out it was potentially a thing, and then uh, Ace Zephyr was the one that went in and found the setup. And he said that um, Masudo and Diesel also helped him find the setup. Come on, Cloud. Stop dodging! I think he has the mistile on. That's why he keeps dodging. Oh yeah, there you go. Sephiroth's wing attack with full criteria met. That's cool. I would have never guessed that. Yeah, if you ever wondered, like Death, you're always talking about the Mistile and how strong it is. But how strong is it really? I think this this playthrough has, has truly taught everyone how strong the Mistile is. It's absurd, like the amount of things that get dodged when you have a Mistile on. It's nonsense. I had a mistile on Tifa and a mistile on Red 13. And that's why neither one of them have gotten sadness. They dodged it every single time. Is he out? I feel like he's out of energy. Uh, you can get three mistiles if you do the duplication glitch in the North Crater, I believe. Otherwise, you get two. I could be wrong. I think that's right, though. Zydric, you just get two chances to steal, or three chances to steal, and that's it. Uh, 
Uh, so the goal of the playthrough was actually just to finish the game, which we already did. But now we're beating the weapons for fun. Right. I've never actually done the item duplication glitch. I've seen it a million times, but I've just never felt like it was necessary. I tend to always have one character with a Zydric and two characters with Mistile. That's usually what I set up. Um, but I should like learn how to do it just to have three Mistiles, because that would be probably the best setup, period. But I just always like having one character with a Zydric and making him like a super tank. But honestly, Mistile's better. Two elephants. Should be fine. <coughs> Hopefully. Tifa! Stop dodging! Yeah, like, there's not much to the actual trick, you just have to memorize who to send where. You don't have to actually do anything other than just make sure you pick up the missile. Nice, we got everyone on the left side. Now we just gotta get Cloud. Which, uh, I probably should get Cloud, yeah. I was thinking, like, maybe I could skip it, but, eh. If it were Barret, I'd skip it, because Barret's already Mega Tank. my ship. Run! Uh, let's say five, right? Alright, you can just chill in the high wind for a bit. How's it going, hero? Uh, how much two times Final Fantasy VII have you missed? Only... 15 minutes. We're just, uh, finishing up Sadness Grind and then we're gonna go back into Emerald Weapon. Try to beat him without the... Cheese method. If that doesn't work, we'll try the cheese method. If that doesn't work, we'll panic. If that doesn't work, I'll probably go master more counter attack, but I don't think we'll need that. I think we'll be alright. Now, Ruby Weapon, on the other hand, I'm sweating. I don't really know what I'm going to do for Ru Ruby Weapon, to be honest. I don't think it'll be that much of an issue to survive at first. But I'm afraid... I'm not going to be able to sustain. That I'm not going to be able to do damage because it's Ruby Weapon. 
and Ruby Weapon doesn't like taking damage. So I don't know. I don't remember the Elephants being this rare. Like, usually I get them every other fight. What's going on here? Yeah, but that doesn't accomplish what I need to accomplish. The, the tentacles are going to drain my MP every turn, and I have no way to get my MP back. I cannot use items, so the only thing I can do is MP absorb, and I don't know if any of my magics can do enough damage to get my MP back. So, like, yeah, I can survive for a bit, but once I run out of MP, I'm in trouble. Like, Ruby is free if you can throw elixirs, but I can't throw elixirs. That's kind of the big, the big reason that no items is a problem, because if you can just throw elixirs, the fight's free. He doesn't do enough damage. Like, you can just throw an elixir every turn and never die. I have Magic Hammer, but Ruby has a limited amount of MP that I can steal. He has more than Emerald Weapon. He has, like, 900 or something, but once it's gone, it's gone. Elephant... Counter Restore still takes MP. There we go. Wait, how did Barrett lose Sadness? The stupid bird probably took it off. It's so annoying that this bird shows up with the, the elf dunks. Because he can give you fury. Does Yuffie still have it? Yeah. Alright. Attack Cloud. That's not Cloud. That's not Cloud. Are you really going to make me put in my other characters and kill them off so that Cloud's the only target? Is that where we're at with this? Am I going to get that unlucky? Oh my god. Oh, of course. The regular attack, though, he attacks Cloud. There we go. Cloud, please. Don't dodge. Take it like a man. You need a shower. You're dirty. Uh. Yes. Yes. Yes! Thank you. accomplished. We are sad. Mission accomplished. I'll just save again. Okay. The annoying thing about having sadness is I can't go to the inn. Which is kind of a problem, because I can't use items either. So... I have to go in with whatever I have currently. Analog stick, please, dude. It's so obnoxious. I need a new PS4 controller, but I refuse to pay $60 for a controller for a console I will not play. 
Yeah, we gotta go in with a bit lower health. Or I can just heal, but this should be fine. White Wind still takes MP. Granted, it's slightly less, but... Okay, maybe back the missile. Give you back magic counter. Give you counter attack back. Give you counter back. Give you back the missile. Give you back the missile. Give you back magic counter. Give you back counter attack. Give you back counter attack. Give you back counter. Attack. Do it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Manipulate White Wind just to heal us for the fight. That's pretty smart. I give you guys an A++ for that. That is brilliant. I don't think we'll need it because we're going to heal like right away anyways. But yeah, no, that's, that is brilliant. I love that idea. Back here. All right, Cloud got two Dragon Forces. If he needs to. Should be good. Now I just need everything ready for the turn. Specifically, I need a heal ready on both sides. I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm gonna play safe. Should have cast Ultima, not Demi. That's all right.
I need Cloud's turn on the right. Before he gets all his MP stolen. Ultima's really late. I'm a little worried about it. Okay, left side should be fine. Spooky with those health bars, but I should have a cure. I think. I might have lost track. Yeah, okay, there it is. I think one of the trolliest things about this fight is the fact that Emerald Beam gets rid of Regen. Like, Emerald Beam... or Regen is the perfect thing to have for Emerald Beam, because it takes you down percentage, but then, like, you could get most of the health back before he attacks again. But, uh... It don't work. I can't believe that I is still there. Is my Ultima not gone off yet? Yeah, there it goes. Holy cow. That took forever. Tifa. Big damage. Big damage. Big damage. God dang. Tifa mad. Don't mess with her. I'm against Dragon Force. I feel like Cloud is taking too much damage. Maybe I missed the Dragon Force on him or something. I need to wait on Cloud. Yeah, I think I missed the Dragon Force on him. Now he's taking way less. We're gonna wait on that. We're gonna do a 2x cut there. Who's this? Cloud times 3. I need to cast this Ultima as soon as he opens his eyes, or else I'm gonna run out of MP. And it's gonna be... A big problem. No, don't attack Cloud. He's gonna counter. I need the MP. Okay. Hope I really hope that goes off in time. to prep this Ultima. Okay. Uh... 
Dang, this is this is big spooky right now. Alright, this Ultima needs to give me enough MP to survive. Okay, that's quite a bit of MP. I'll take it. You feel mad. Uh, I'm worried about this. Yeah. That was my fear. The double Ultima makes him revenge stamp twice, and it's a big problem. Because sometimes it is too much damage to everyone. Tifa, she is upset. Don't make her mad. I can't believe how much of a tank Cloud is on the right, on the left side. It's actually insane how tanky Cloud is. If I can get Tifa's turn, I can use her limit to finish off the eyes, because it'll interrupt. Ah, she died. It's unfortunate. Well. Unfortunately, that's the end of that for the left side. I don't have enough MP to revive. Unless he's almost dead, but Cloud can't even do damage. I need to make sure I cure first before using Ultima, because the Revenge Stamp kills me every time. Right side can probably actually bring this back and win. I got everyone back up, I got heals. Uh, Yuffie's out of MP though, so that's probably rip. If he needs MP. Keeping MP, like, where it needs to be is so hard. There's so much I have to keep track of. Like, not only do I have to not use too much magic, but then I have to use a lot of magic to get rid of the eyes quickly because the yellow eyes will drain my magic. I also don't know... I kind of wish I knew how close they were to, to being dead because I don't know how long I can survive. Like Yuffie will keep MP, but I don't know if the others will. How's it going, Arco? I still don't know why Cloud didn't seem to get the full Dragon Force. Maybe I misclicked, but I thought I had two Dragon Forces on everyone. Yeah, I really like Demi being on counter. 
but unfortunately it takes a lot of MP. And I should at least put Demi-1 on counter, if I can, if I have one. I'm surprised that Cloud 1 is tankier than Barret 2. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why Cloud 1 is like Ultra Instinct. like this one I actually don't have a gravity one. You said I can go to Cosadel Soul? That's right here. Right here. The eerie music in Costa del Sol is kind of frightening. So used to it being nice and vibrant. Okay. go. Red 13 has two Dragon Forces. Tifa now has two Dragon Forces. Let me try to use an item there. Yuffie has two Dragon Forces. <laughs> Tifa's mad. Alright, now Cloud 1 is getting two Dragon Forces. Just need Barret, right? Right, this time we're gonna do 
Here three, and then Ultima. Instead of two Ultimas. Ultima. I'm hoping just Cure 3 Ultima can sustain us. And the other characters can just do their thing. Because eventually they're gonna run out of MP. I feel like Cloud missed the Dragon Force again. Maybe it can, like, miss or something. Like, with missiles, maybe Dragon Force can just miss. I don't know. It's weird. Or I just can't count. Either one is possible. Alright, Quantum has confirmed. I just can't count. Can't count confirmed. I was a bit worried about damage, but to be honest, I feel like we are actually doing a lot of damage. Like Tifa is just pouring out the damage. Yuffie is obviously pouring out the damage. Gravities. We're doing a ton. Okay, I feel like Tifa is taking a lot of damage. There's a dragon force on her. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're on the right track at least. Save this for the eyes. Let's 
save this for the eyes. Double, double cut, maybe. Eh. Thank God I didn't accidentally do the wrong thing on the left side while I was setting that up. Right side is all ready to go. Come on, left side. Where's my heal? Red 13. Thank you. I gotta be careful because I'm running out of alls. start healing with Cloud on the left side because Red 13 can't cure 3 all anymore. Or oh, wait, yes we can. Maybe it was Cloud on the right side I was thinking of. Tifa's mad! Tifa smash! That's the right side that I need to worry about more. Oh my god, Cloud's still taking so much damage. Why? Did it miss again? Oh my god, Red 13! Lucky 7's damage. Uh... Yeah, Red 13's gonna have to, like, die at some point. Which is bad. With one less target, though, he might attack Tifa a lot, and Tifa might just counter-attack for the win. The right side is also in Dire Straits, though. Oh my god, that heal couldn't have come out at a better time. Oh, 
man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. It's not looking so good. Okay. I can't get Tifa back to where she needs to be. And Red 13 is just a attack bot. Which isn't good. Because he's countering every time Red 13 attacks. Right side is like sitting pretty. Right side don't care. It wasn't just Red 13's limit, it was Tifa dying also. Left side's toast, because I can't do enough damage at this point. Cloud has to get the Miracle Air Tam Storm Dodge. That's pretty much that's pretty much where we're at. Yeah, using Red 13's limit was pretty unfortunate, unfortunately. Alright, Cloud. Miracle Dodge. Here we go. I believe. Oh my god, he did it! What a legend. I don't know. I don't know what this means. I, I think it means I can survive. I, I don't know, he's low on MP. Let's see how many eyes this kills. One, great. Oh, Red 13 is has no MP also. Where did all his MP go? Did he get drained? This toast. It's so frustrating because if I could just use an ether, because Cloud is indestructible, <laughs> but I just run out of MP and then it's over. But he is completely indestructible. Like he cannot die. He is so much. Like he is so tanky. Emerald Beam does a percentage, but then he takes like 10 damage off the eyes. It's insane how little damage he takes. Please kill all the eyes, please. I'm begging you. Come on, one more. No. Oh. Air Tan Storm again, no. <laughs> I forgot he does it twice if you take this long. Cloud with a miracle dodge times two missed out. Here we go. No. Dude, I feel like right side is so close to winning. Oh man.
I think we... I think we switch up the strat on the left side. I was using Red 13 for the magic. I think I used Cloud, because Cloud is a mega tank. He just has way better stats than Red 13 has. Magic Hammer works on Emerald Weapon once. It gives you 100 MP and then that's it. Barret? Don't you have the Zydric? How'd you dodge? Cheater. That's true, it does, but like, not as much as the Mistile. And even with the Mistile, Air Tam dodges are kind of rare. Unless you're max stats, then you dodge it like 80% of the time. Air Tam has a pretty good chance of hitting though. Even at max stats with a Mistile, it can hit fairly often. So I think in my testing, it's like 20% of the time it hits, but I don't know what the actual number is.